Hello, good day. This is Alan of After Comics. A uh, quick video today talking about Lyle Stewart Incorporated. It was a publishing company that came out back in the 1950s, uh, mostly publishing men's magazines and so on. But back in around 1975, uh, about a year or so after the DC Comics published their famous first editions, um, they were approached by DC Comics to put some of the famous first editions in to hardback form. And they did several of them. And I want to I want to eradicate a a uh a false narrative <laughs> false narrative that's been around for a while. Uh they came out with action comics and you can see these are just like the magazines except they're in hard hardcover uh with with an, a dust jacket. That's what they looked like. Uh, these used to be very, very easy to find. They're getting a little bit more difficult now. So they did Action Comics 1, Detective Comics number 27, Sensation Comics number 1, Wiz Comics, and Wonder Woman. They did not publish Batman 1 in hardcover. This has been disputed by some of my friends that say, no, they're pretty sure they had it. They did not have it. They might have had a Detective Comics number 27 and thinking that's Batman 1. Um, MyComicShop.com listed as that it was published. It was not. I went right to the source, Lyle Stewart. They're no longer in business. Uh, the founder is no longer with us. Uh, but on the company site, they show what they published. Batman 1 was never published. And I spent years not knowing that and looking for it. So I wanted to eradicate that right now. Um, it was never published. There was never a Batman 1 in hardcover published by Lyle Stewart. That's my rave. That's my short video. Um, I'm going to be doing several more videos today and talking about uh, my sabbatical, which is coming to an end soon. Thanks for watching.